Energy. It's what powers the universe. It's what makes things move, change, and exist. From the tiniest atom to the largest star, everything relies on energy. And guess what? You are no different. Your body is a complex machine that runs on energy. You need energy to breathe, to think, to walk, and even to sleep. Where does this energy come from? The food you eat. More specifically, the calories in your food provide the fuel that keeps your body going. So the next time you bite into an apple or take a sip of water, remember, you're consuming energy. It's the same energy that makes the stars shine and the planets spin. Now let's talk about a fundamental law of physics, the first law of thermodynamics. This law is crucial in understanding how our bodies manage energy. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In fact, it's quite fascinating once you get the hang of it. This law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. It's like a universal rule that everything in the universe follows. Think of it like this. You have a piggy bank with $100 in it. This money represents the total amount of energy you have. You can spend that money on different things like candy or toys, or even save it for something more significant. But you can't magically make more money appear. The total amount remains the same, just like energy in your body. You started with $100, and no matter what you do, you'll still have the equivalent of $100 in some form. It might be in the form of cash, or it could be in the form of something you bought. The same goes for energy. Whether it's stored in your body as fat or used up during exercise, the total amount of energy remains constant. Your body takes in energy from food, converting the calories you consume into usable energy. And it can then use that energy for various functions, like moving your muscles or keeping your organs running. This energy is essential for every action you perform, but it can't just create energy out of thin air. Your body relies on the energy you provide through your diet to function properly. So remember, the energy you put into your body through food is the same energy you use to power your daily activities. It's all about balance and understanding how to manage that energy effectively. By knowing this, you can make better choices about what you eat and how you exercise, ensuring that you maintain a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Food is your body's fuel. Just like a car needs gasoline to run, your body needs food to function. Different types of food contain different amounts of energy, measured in calories. Think of calories as tiny units of energy stored within the food you eat. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats are the primary sources of calories in our diet. When you eat these nutrients, your digestive system breaks them down into smaller molecules, releasing the stored energy. This energy then becomes available for your body to use for various activities, from breathing to running a marathon. So, you've eaten your food, and your body is now brimming with energy. What happens next? This is where exercise comes in. Physical activity is how your body puts all that stored energy to good use. Whether you're going for a run, lifting weights, or even just walking around the block, you're burning calories and converting that stored energy into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. The more intense the exercise, the more calories you burn. Think of it like driving a car. The faster you go, the more fuel you use. Similarly, running a mile burns more calories than walking a mile because it requires more energy. Section 5. The Balancing Act, Weight and Energy Here's the key to understanding weight management. It's all about energy balance. That means finding the right equilibrium between the energy you take in through food and the energy you expend through physical activity and basic bodily functions. If you consume more calories than you burn, your body stores the excess energy as fat, leading to weight gain. On the other hand, if you burn more calories than you consume, your body starts using stored fat for energy, resulting in weight loss. Maintaining a healthy weight is about finding that sweet spot, consuming enough calories to fuel your body's needs without going overboard. That's where understanding the first law of thermodynamics can be incredibly helpful. Section 6. Inertia, the body's resistance to change. Now, let's shift gears and talk about another fundamental law of physics, Newton's first law of motion. 
This law states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This tendency to resist changes in motion is called inertia. Think about it. A bowling ball sitting on the floor won't suddenly start rolling on its own, right? It needs a push, a force to get it moving. It takes a force, you picking it up and throwing it, to overcome its inertia and set it in motion. The same principle applies to our bodies. Your body, believe it or not, also has inertia. This means it resists changes in its state of motion. It would much rather stay glued to the couch than lace up those running shoes. And that's perfectly natural. Our bodies are designed to conserve energy, which is why starting a new fitness routine can feel so challenging. The first step is always the hardest. Just like that bowling ball, you need a push to get started. But once you overcome that initial inertia, it becomes easier to keep moving. Consistency is key. The more you stick to your routine, the less resistance you'll feel. Your body will adapt, and what once felt like a monumental effort will become second nature. Start with small changes. Maybe it's a short walk around the block or a few minutes of stretching. These small steps can help build momentum. Celebrate your milestones no matter how small. Each step forward is a victory against inertia. And remember, you're not alone. Join a community or find a workout buddy. Support can make a huge difference in overcoming inertia. Keep your long-term goals in mind. Visualize the healthier, more active version of yourself. This vision can be the force that keeps you moving forward. So embrace the challenge. Understand that inertia is a natural part of the process. With determination and consistency, you can overcome it and achieve your fitness goals. Section 7. Overcoming Inertia, Small Steps to Big Changes Overcoming inertia is often the hardest part of starting any new routine, especially when it comes to exercise. That initial resistance to get moving can feel overwhelming, but here's the good news. It gets easier. The key is to start small. Instead of trying to run a marathon on your first day, aim for a 15-minute walk around the block. Instead of attempting a complex weightlifting routine, start with a few basic bodyweight exercises. The more you move, the easier it becomes to keep moving. That's because, with each small step, you're chipping away at your inertia, making it easier to stick with your fitness goals. Section 8. Momentum. Keeping the fitness ball rolling. Once you've overcome that initial inertia and started moving, you'll notice something incredible happen. You build momentum. Momentum, in simple terms, is the tendency for an object in motion to stay in motion. The faster an object is moving, the harder it is to stop. Think about a speeding train. It takes a lot of force to bring it to a halt. The same principle applies to your fitness journey. As you consistently engage in physical activity, you create a positive feedback loop. The more you move, the easier it becomes to keep moving, and the more motivated you feel to stick with it. Section 9. Physics in Action Real Life Examples Let's look at some real-life examples of how understanding these physics principles can transform your fitness and nutrition habits. Physics isn't just for the classroom or the lab, it plays a crucial role in our everyday lives, especially when it comes to health and fitness. Imagine you're trying to lose weight. This is a common goal for many people, but it can often feel overwhelming without the right knowledge. By understanding the first law of thermodynamics, you know that you need to create a calorie deficit, burning more calories than you consume. This principle is fundamental in weight management. You start tracking your calorie intake and increase your physical activity levels. This might involve using a food diary or a fitness app to monitor what you eat and how much you move. As you consistently maintain this calorie deficit, the pounds start coming off. It's a gradual process, but with persistence, you see real results. Now, let's say you're struggling to start an exercise routine. This is another common challenge, but physics can help here too. You recognize that inertia is holding you back. Inertia is the resistance to change in motion, and it applies to our habits as well. Instead of aiming for an hour-long gym session on day one, you commit to a 15-minute walk during your lunch break. This small, manageable step helps you overcome inertia. As you repeat this small act of movement daily, you build momentum, and soon, those 15 minutes turn into 30 minutes and so on. This gradual increase in activity helps you establish a sustainable routine. Over time, 
you start to feel more energetic and healthier. The principles of physics have guided you in making small, consistent changes that lead to significant improvements in your fitness and well-being. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Many people are applying these same principles to achieve their fitness goals. By understanding and leveraging the laws of physics, you can make informed decisions that support your health and fitness journey. Section 10. Conclusion, Physics, Your Fitness Ally. So there you have it. The laws of physics aren't just abstract concepts confined to textbooks. They're powerful tools that can help you achieve your fitness goals. By understanding the first law of thermodynamics, you can make informed choices about your food intake and energy expenditure, leading to effective weight management. And by harnessing the power of inertia and momentum, you can overcome those initial hurdles and create a sustainable exercise routine that becomes second nature. Remember, knowledge is power. By applying these fundamental physics principles to your daily life, you can unlock your fitness potential and live a healthier, more energetic life.